Okay, what I'm going to do today, guys, I'm just going to do... <laughs> Hello, Jordy Scape here, and welcome to my adventures not escaping. The main purpose of this video is to give you a bit of an update on what's been happening in the world of Jordy Scaper. <laughs> and there has been a lot of stuff going on, some big changes for myself, which I'm over the moon about. And there's been some changes here in the studio, some different aquariums, different setups, things like that. So I'm going to update you and I will show you the tanks later on. And the first thing is I'm actually employed by Horizon Aquatics now. Um, I go there and I maintain the tanks, the fish system, the plant tables, so help the guys keep the showroom looking spick and span, looking after those scapes. I get total pleasure out of maintaining the tanks in that showroom because oh, it's top notch. So that's Horizon Aquatics in uh, Newton Cliff here in the UK. Well worth a visit. The showroom is just getting better and better and the shop is absolutely amazing and a lovely couple who actually run the shop. So have a visit if you haven't been. Um, so what else? I had a t-shirt design. Um, the Iwagumi style t-shirt and Yuri's um, who co-owns Moss Cotton, uh, if you're aware of it, Moss Cotton merchandise, it's aquascaping merchandise, t-shirts, caps, that sort of thing and pretty well known and there's some well known scapers have done some collaborations with Moss Cotton and Yuri's and myself have agreed a collaboration with the Irogumi style, so it's actually going to be available with Moss Cotton. I'm not sure when yet, I'll keep you updated on that one, but um, obviously I'm super excited about that. Having a collab with Moss Cotton, which is a brand I already love. So I just want to thank Yuri's for, for wanting this collab with us. It's, it's really flattering and obviously I'm super, super excited about it. And, I'm still with Seachem. I am promoting Seachem, which again, I've said from the very start, it's a total honor to be an ambassador for Seachem. So that's still going on. And in fact, I've got a scape coming up, which is gonna be based around Seachem products, which we'll go into more detail in a bit. The studio's been updated. I've got new equipment to help us with video editing. I'm still learning because it's quite tricky. I've just got Apple and Apple's totally different. So yeah. I've been doing that, so learning, learning, which it's quite difficult, <laughs> but I'll get there, I'll get there. So the idea is my videos will be done a lot quicker, I'll be edited quicker, and there'll be a lot better quality. So that's the aim. So I haven't done videos that have been good enough in my eyes to put on there. I've always been disappointed with them. So I'll get there, I'll get there. But yeah, one thing I'm really hoping to do is travel abroad I don't think it's looking likely this year, but I would like to visit some stores around the world, to be honest. Uh, obviously, Hungary, Budapest, we've got Green Aqua. I'd love to get over to the States and meet the Seachem guys, so hopefully that all works out. But that's that's long-term plans, get travelling next year, which will be great, so I hope that comes out. So I'm just trying to plan things at the minute and see if it's actually possible to do that next year. All being well with the COVID crisis and things going. It's slowly easing off here in the UK, but everyone's on tender hooks to wait and see what's happening as announcements all the time. So anyways, we'll see how that goes. Another thing I would like to do is just come up with a, a website. So I've got a bit of a one-stop shop for you guys to visit. And there it'll just be a little bit about myself, what's up and coming, links to the Moss Cotton merch, and little bits of merch I might have myself, stuff like mugs, badges, and I've just come up with these. This, these will be on sale very soon. Dead simple, it's an idea I've had in my head for ages. I don't know if you've seen other videos, I always use little white cards or credit card type things, or one was my actual security license when I worked security for doing bits and bobs when you maintain an aquarium. So I've just come up with this. Well, the Jordy Scaper Scraper. <laughs> uh, and I'm over the moment, it's just a dead simple card. So I'll do a little promo video and I'll demonstrate 
what you can use these little cards for. Obviously, you can use the credit card things like that, but it's just a nice little bit of merch from yourself. It'll not be expensive. Um, it's good quality, really good quality, hard plastic, flexible. The writing, I've done some tests with it. It's safe under water. I've scratched away at it, scraped away at it, and nothing's come off, so really good quality. So, yeah, Jory Scraper Scraper. <laughs> hey, I'm silly, I I'm silly. I think, yeah, that's it. So that's what's been going on. Full of busy, obviously, that's been taking up a lot of my time. And it's just getting used to it again, getting into a working routine and stuff. So um, YouTube has took a bit of a hit, but I'm, I'm back on it now because I absolutely love doing YouTube videos for you guys. It's what I, I really, really enjoy doing. So I need to get back on it. Like I say, it's just been so busy with different bits, but that's enough excuses anyways. I'll get it sorted. <laughs> So I'll shut up for now and I'm going to show you around the tanks and tell you what I've been doing and show you some tanks that will be upcoming soon. So enjoy. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back everyone. First up we have the Jewelry 240, the Congo style. The lights have just come on so the fish are a bit shy. They're all heading off. Sorry about that. Typical. But yeah, this one's going okay. It is looking a bit like dirty at the minute. It's due a water change and a bit of a clean. So that's something I'm gonna do when I finished here. But yeah, we've got the bulbitis, which is doing great. Oh, excuse that. The bulbitis is doing great. There they are, them lovely Congo. Stunning. Moss is just all being cut back quite a bit because it was just getting a bit ridiculous. <laughs> so I cut some off. Little bite of this, you got the nubius, little bits of moss that's just found its way here. <laughs> the nubius, I love the way the nubius is looking. The red lilies aren't so red because I'm not injecting CO2, so I just like to keep them light low, a little bit of a feature there, a little focal point. So we've got a nubius nana and a nubius pangolino, I think it is, pangolino. So yeah, this is doing okay. At the background we've got the crinum there which at first I was a bit, it just wasn't growing, now it's just going mad. If you look it's all the way across the surface. And those Congo Terra, wow. I did add some other fish from one of my other scapes, the Green Fire Terra. And it looks stunning in here. It spoiled the African theme a bit, but I, I had to rehome them and they had to go in here. And there's a Siamese alligator, which he's getting here mongus. He was tiny when I bought him. But he's a cool fish. Look at the size of him. He just seems to like grow all of a sudden out of the blue. Massive. But he does a great job at keeping the algae off the rocks. Especially the BBA and stuff, there is bits knocking around, there is algae in there, but it's not becoming a nuisance. But it does need a bit of a clean, so I'll get that sorted. After I swoop across, there's been a bit of a change here. My daughter's tank, we well, actually stripped it down, she wanted to change it anyways. And this was out of the studio, the gallery. That real shrimp set tank, which is a 30 centimeter cube. No, it's not. <laughs> It's quite tall, this tank, but it's doing pretty well. It is a bit overgrown, but I'm like deliberately keeping it that way, to be honest, quite like it. Hendrix the better, he's in there somewhere. And again, he's hiding. He's usually out all the time. And when he wants some footage of him, off he goes. Typical. How are you, Hendrix, where are you? This tank's been going around for about seven months now, and I kind of just let it do its thing, obviously, take it back now and then. But I tell you what I really like. The immersed growth, the moss, it just soaks in off the wood. The wood soaks from the water at this point. Can you see that? So it's keeping the, mo the moss nice and moist. Yeah. So you've got Bustle Ferrandro there, I think it's Kerrigan. 
There's a mixture of Kerry Gang with Green. Oh, there's Henrik's making an appearance. Hello, son. Oh, he's not liking it. <laughs> he's a gorgeous fish, though. Yeah, so we've got the Weeping Moss, we've got Bussa Flandra, a Kerrigang, I think it is, and a mixture of Wavy Green, I think. <laughs> we've got the High Record LA going mad, but to be honest, I quite like it. It's like, I wanted like a, if you imagine like a waterfall effect coming down, so it's just creeping down. The Starragoni Reckons had had a good cut back because it was dying off a bit and yellowing, so I've just cut it back and that's slowly grown back in. I'll be honest, the plant's not the healthy, healthiest in this one. I did let it go a bit, but, because to be honest, I was going to strip it, but I'm going to let it go for a while more in the living room. We'll see. But yeah, that's that. Okay, so we'll come through to the studio. Oh, it's bright in here. Before I hit the tanks, I've, I think I mentioned earlier, this is... My new system so i've went with the apple and a better screen 4k screen 4k display i'm hoping to make video editing a lot quicker and better better quality and just obviously learning the craft basically because i've started to really enjoy it but it does take me getting used to when i've went to, i think it's final cut pro with apple it's totally different what i've been using so i'll get there and the videos will be out better quality so yeah, that's my little office space, my little workspace. Come across, got my little utilities there. This is all my utilities, my atlas gate and tools, that sort of thing. So yeah, let's keep everything handy in there. With the new addition. Hey, Jordy scraper, scraper. It's amazing how many uses that thing's got. <laughs> Yep, so that's that. Bit storage, equipment, hosing, all that malarkey. And yeah, we have the Waterbox Clear Mini 10. The Sterogoni Reference has been cut back in this one as well, which is a shame. I probably should have filmed it before because it was looking really good, but it'll grow back. So in here, we've got the Trident Fern, the Anubis Petite, Sterogoni Reference and in the background which is unusual to have a background but i thought it might work well in here is the cryptochorine cryptochorine when well, yeah tropica it's that one yeah wood is talawa wood a lot of people ask us about this wood but i really like this gate to be honest I really like it the stone is oh yeah that excuse i forgot Black North Stone, that's it, yeah, Black North Stone with ADA, La Plata Sand with some basic equipment, got some aqua LED lights there but they're doing a great job at growing the plants and a little fluval hang on the hang on the back filter which I already had, just stuck that on. But yeah, livestock, we have, see if I can get in there, the green neons, the little beauties. They look stunning in this setup. I'll get kicking in the new way, so I'm gonna have to start taking care of that. We've got the red cherry shrimp. There's loads in here. Start off a few little babies. Now it's gone mad. You can see with the silicon in there. I know that looks a mess, but the S Reptons covers it. Covers? <laughs> the S Reptons covers? The S Reptons covers it eventually, so we'll not see that for long. And there's a new addition. Another better. And he's called Jimmy. So I've got Jimmy and I've got Hendrix. Yeah, Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> well, isn't he lovely? Black with a bl blue with the black. See if I can focus in a bit. He's tiny as well. But yeah. Jimmy the better. So I'll just scale back a bit so you can see this tank. So yeah. From above and below. Yeah, nice little setup. Love these tanks. These are made by a company called Waterbox. So, yeah, 
I've done a review, an overview of what a box of creams and I absolutely love them. Really good quality. Come across to this one and I don't think this has actually been on my channel yet. It will go me. I'll be honest, I was going to set this up for the IAPLC, which is like an international competition for aquascaping run by ADA, um, the Takashi Amaro company. But it didn't, it wasn't going time and I had a few issues with it. I had the, um, the Monte Carlo at the front there was just keep on melting. So, and when it was melting, I already had shrimp in the tank and then we're eating the dead Monte Carlo so it didn't have a chance to recover. But eventually we used some fresh pots, we did. I used some fresh pots of Monte Carlo and it's finally kicking in. So this is after around two weeks and you can see the growth there. Monte Carlo, yeah, these are the pots and it's grown in nice there. The other one is the Elia Chorus Mini and at the back, one of my first, blah, 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 one of my personal faves, Helianthem Tenlem Green. So just three plants, nice basic Iwagumi with the classic Frodo stone. And this is in another water box aquarium. This is the water box 16. So it's 16 gallons, 60 liters, 60 centimeters long. We have a twin star A series light. That's from above. Oh, looks nice there. <laughs> Excuse me. Take that back. Glassware, we're running CO2 on this one. The CO2 is linked with the filter. We've got inline CO2, so we've got the Nuozzi Biomaster Thermo 350. The CO2 art kit with inline CO2. And that's running there and doing a great job. Drop checker there, good colour. Yeah. You can see this at the moment, but I am going to put a panel over it so it makes it all nice and clean. And I need some doors for these cabinets as well. So it's all going to be like this. The gloss white cabinets. A gloss white panel to cover the, cover the filter and stuff, to cover the equipment. And eventually we'll get some gloss doors on there too. I just want everything nice and clean and pristine and get it a little more like a bit of a gallery, a showroom. Livestock, we'll have the usual algae and crew. The amazing Otto's. Otto's are great. I've always loved Otto's, little characters. I don't know if you've ever noticed if you've got Otto's at home, if you stare at them, they'll wink at you. Every now and then they have a little wink. We'll not catch it on camera, I guarantee it. But yeah, we've got the Otto's doing a marvellous job keeping algae. We have some Amano shrimp in there, knocking around. Don't know where, but they're there. <laughs> We have the Ember Tetra, which have just started colouring up and absolutely look, looking stunning. Yeah, wow. Yeah, but I nearly stripped this, to be honest. It was annoying us. I'm so glad I didn't now, because it's really started like take shape. I've always loved Iwagumi. Iwagumi, if you don't know, it's just, it's Japanese, like meaning rock formation, rock garden type of thing, so. That's Iwagumi, hence the t-shirt I've done, Iwagumi style. Based on like Zen type gardens, same principles. There's another little carrot on here, but you can't see him, he's hidden away. It's a little hill stream loach and he's super cute, but he always hangs on this side of the rock. And you can hardly see him. He's there, believe us. That's an Amano shrimp. Yeah, so that's the Iwagumi in the water box. Clear Mini 16. So if you see the two, they've got the contrast, you've got the nature style. And that's 35 litres, 50 centimetres long, I think. And then we've got the 60 centimetre long, 60 litres. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's the first time I've seen this on video and I'm, I'm quite surprised how good it looks. <laughs> sorry, it blew me on trumpet there. Right, this is an up and coming project which I'm really excited about. This is another water box clear mini 10, which this time I didn't buy it. Water box kindly supplied me this for this scape. So thank you so so much, water box. Um really really chuffed the scent of it. So yeah. On here we've got a more powerful light. We have the 
new series of twin star s line so it's a bit of a different color rendition the older one I'll probably blind you here but still rgb a bit more powerful than the a series and the reason i want more power is because this is going to be a dutch style scape dutch style is a traditional store is one of the oldest styles of aquascaping and it's lots of color lots of stems no hardscape or very little hardscape and just full of plants and color so that's what i'm aiming to do it's a first for me so hoping it all goes well i've got good equipment there i've got the aquavito aquavito range of fertilizers and i've used this before the aquasolum black black humid aquarium soil which is great but I've heard really good things about these. These are, actually no, I'm not gonna go into detail because I'm gonna do a video solely about the Aquavito range from Seachem. So I'm not going into too much detail, but they've provided these for this scape. So I'll be using solely Aquavito on this one. The Title 35 is a filter I've chose to use on this. We'll see how that goes, because I always end up like chopping, changing filters, but hopefully this one works out. I haven't got enough room to put an external on. So it's going to have to be a hang on the back or internal, but we'll see. You just flip it out for photos anyways. <laughs> glass feeder, CKM glass feeder. This is a tank. This is an Ampera, 35 centimeters long. I think it's 35 liters with an Aquia light on. It's just got a bit of soil in there I've put in. I don't actually know what I'm going to do just yet with this, but obviously that'll be escaped soon. By the way, I mentioned they were Gumi as well, obviously showing you that. I did take some pics while I was making that so I can do a build video on that. So if that's something you'd like to see, just let us know in the comments. Would you like to see a build video on how I put they were going together? Just let us know. I've moved my plant out of the living room. I wanted a bit plant there because when I scaped this tank, I like the idea of the leaves hanging over the tank. This look, looks quite nice. So, yeah. So, two clear tanks. Iwagumi, nature style. Over here, you have me lighting equipment, things like that. Another aquarium, this was, well, it still is, <laughs> Evolution Aqua, um, Scaper 600, which I haven't got a clue what I'm gonna do, to be honest. These aren't made anymore. Um, I do believe another company's taking over and they will be available soon, pretty much the same model, different name. Not sure on prices, etc. but they will be re-released, but for now, mine's just a bit redundant. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something. That's the box off the light I showed you, the water box off the aquarium. Awazi provided as a filter as well. I've already got um, two filters, but they provided this one, so I'll be using that on... I'll probably use that on this tank or another similar tank once I set that up, because I have got room with this cabinet. So, yeah. But coming soon is a full unboxing, review and setup of these filters. I know there's a lot out there already, but I just want to do a full setup step by step. And I'm actually going to fill this tank full of water and show you how to set it up. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. The rest I've just got all the liquid foods I use, the water conditioners, your classic prime stability, pure gen. All obviously products I love and obviously being an ambassador for CKM it's just great. <laughs> I love it. My little book collection there. and um, got some great books. Let's have a look. So Origin of Creation, which is a great read. One of my faves, which is really good for inspiration. Just an ADA catalogue. We have George Farmer's. Great book on aquascaping, really good book. Something Gardens, that's by Carol Rendell. Yeah, some books there, this one's on photography. I'm still baffled by it. I'm trying to learn with the DSLR. I'm, I'm getting a bit better, but it's, whoa, it's a whole skill in itself, so I'm still learning. Green Colander, hey, not red, green. If you're watching George, that's the color to have. <laughs> Hey, anyways, and look around if you've seen before. If you got me pictures, nothing around. I've got this. I love this. 
I'll just put this together. <laughs> Who's that ugly mug? Oosh. Yep, so that's my studio. That's what's been happening as well as what I was telling you in the intro. So, hope you've enjoyed this one. I know I rattled on a bit. It's probably been blah, 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 boring. But I just wanted to show you around. And it's rare I do vlog style videos. But I think you guys who follow us, support us, which I always really appreciate, you know that. I think you deserved an update on what was happening. Because I've been quite quiet on here, which is not on purpose. Not on purpose. I have been super busy. So... Thanks for watching guys, as always, really, really appreciate your support, and I shall see you next time. Bye!